Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Brecon Presbyterian Church for our service on Sunday, 23rd of May, Whit Sunday. Let us worship God. Jesus said, The Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that I have said to you. When the Spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all the truth. O Holy Spirit of God, as you came upon the disciples of Jesus on the first Pentecost, in a mighty wind and tongues of fire, filling them with power and strength to accomplish great things for you, come upon us now. Come as the breath of God to give us life. Come as the tongue of fire to purify us. Come as living water to refresh us. Come as the rushing mighty wind to renew us. Come as the dove and give us peace. Come, Lord, in your fullness and fill us with all the fullness of God. Amen. Our reading for the day of Pentecost is, I could ask you now, what do you think the reading is going to be? And you'll probably all get it right. It's going to be Acts chapter 2, and starting to read verse 1, about the coming of the Holy Spirit on the day of Pentecost. Pentecost, by the way, is a Jewish festival, the Feast of Weeks. Um, the Greek name for that is Pentecost and now we have turned it into a Christian festival of the coming of the Holy Spirit but of course the Jews still keep Pentecost and so this was a celebration of Pentecost and Jews had travelled to Jerusalem from many different countries in the world as pilgrims to go up there and fulfil their obligations to be at the temple and the three great festivals. And so it says about the disciples of Jesus. When the day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place. Suddenly, a sound like the blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting. They saw what seemed to be tongues of fire that separated and came to rest on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other languages as the Spirit enabled them. Now, there were staying in Jerusalem God-fearing Jews from every nation under heaven. When they heard this sound, a crowd came together in bewilderment because each one heard them speaking in his own language. Utterly amazed, they asked, Are not all these men who are speaking Galileans? And how is it that each of us hears them in his own native language? Parthians, Medes and Elamites, residents of Mesopotamia, Judea and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the parts of Libya near Cyrene, visitors from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs, we hear them declaring the wonders of God in our own tongues. Amazed and perplexed, they ask one another, what does this mean? 
Some, however, made fun of them and said, They've had too much wine. Then Peter stood up with the eleven, raised his voice and addressed the crowd. Fellow Jews and all of you who live in Jerusalem, let me explain this to you. Listen carefully to what I say. These men are not drunk, as you suppose. It's only nine in the morning. No, this is what was spoken by the prophet Joel. In the last days, God says, I will pour out my spirit on all people. Your sons and your daughters will prophesy. Your young men will see visions. Your old men will dream dreams. Even on my servants, both men and women, I will pour out my spirit in those days. And they will prophesy. I will show wonders in the heavens above and signs on the earth below. Blood and fire and billows of smoke. The sun will be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the coming of the great and glorious day of the Lord. And everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Here ends the reading. We're going to listen to a little bit of organ music now, played by Gweno. We're going to have two interludes of organ music this morning, and uh, this is the first one. We can reflect on the words that we've heard read and prepare ourselves for our time of prayer.
you, Gwena. Let us pray. Blessed are you, O Lord our God. Your Spirit comes to us in our weakness and brings his power. In the strength of your Spirit, you enable us to live and to work to your praise and glory. May we who have received the gifts of the Spirit use those gifts for the benefit of your creation and to reveal your love in the world. Blessed are you, Lord God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. O oh Lord, as we rejoice in the coming of your Spirit, we give thanks to you for all who proclaim your presence and power. We give thanks and pray for all preachers, evangelists, missionaries, and those who take the good news out, and all ministers, all who celebrate the sacraments, and minister to your people. We pray that you will bless your church throughout the world. And may all your people share fully in forwarding the gospel and revealing your love. We rejoice that you fill our world. Your spirit is with us. Lord, you give great gifts and talents to your people. And we ask you now to bless and guide all leaders of nations and peoples, all who make decisions that will affect our lives and the future of the world, especially in this pandemic crisis worldwide. May those in authority make right and wise decisions. We pray for scientists and research workers seeking to find a cure for the coronavirus, working on new vaccines to cope with new variants. Continue to bless their work, we pray and the rollout of vaccine throughout the world. We pray, Lord, for all those who influence us through the news, through the media, through the social media. May those influencers influence for good and not for evil. May they spread truth and not lies. We rejoice that you fill our world. Your spirit is with us, Lord. We thank you that when the Holy Spirit came upon the disciples on that day of Pentecost, it was in the upper room of an ordinary house that they gathered, an ordinary home. And we pray, Lord, that you will bless our homes with your presence and grant that in our relationship with those who we may share our lives with, in our families, that, that we may grow in the fruit of your Spirit. Let us know that you are with our loved ones and with us. Whether we live together or are separated by distance. Protect us all from evil and guide us by your spirit in the ways of peace and love. We rejoice that you fill our world. Your spirit is with us. Lord, we think 
of areas where there is disruption and chaos and anarchy in the world. We are horrified at the social disturbances in Swansea the other day and pray that whatever was the cause of that disruption, it will be dealt with. And wherever there is distress and violence throughout the world, we pray that your spirit will work to deal with these problems. O Lord of life, we remember all who are dispirited, the distressed and the depressed and the despairing, and all who have lost hope or joy in their lives. We pray for all who fear the future, maybe worrying about their job security and the coming recession as a result of the pandemic. We pray for all who've lost sight of you and your love. We remember those throughout the world who are struggling with poverty or hunger, the homeless and the refugee. We pray for all the conflict areas, praying for Israel and Palestine, praying for Yemen. praying for Ukraine and all other areas where there's conflict. We pray for all who are ill, for those particularly whom we know who are not well, for those who are suffering COVID-19 and are in hospital, For those who are suffering bereavement, we pray, especially those who have suffered recent tragic bereavement. Lord, we rejoice that you fill our world. Your spirit is with us. We give you praise, Lord, giver of life and life eternal. We rejoice that you renew, refresh, and restore us. We remember in your presence your blessed saints, all who trusted in you in this life. Your light perpetual now shines upon them, and they share in the glory of your heavenly kingdom. O oh Lord, hear our prayers in the name of Jesus, our Saviour and Lord. And we join together in the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Gweno is going to play a little bit more organ music before we move on to the sermon. 